Muslims in the U.S. and around the world have a responsibility to fight a misconception that terrorist groups like the Islamic State speak for them. President Barack Obama said Wednesday in his most direct remarks yet about any link between Islam and terrorism. For weeks the White House has sidestepped the question of whether deadly terror attacks in Paris and other Western cities amount to Islamic extremism. Wary of offending a major world religion or lending credibility to the war on terror that Obama's predecessor waged. But as he hosted a White House summit on countering violent extremism, the president said some in Muslim communities had bought into the notion that Islam is incompatible with tolerance in modern life. We are not at war with Islam, Obama said. We are at war with people who have perverted Islam. While putting the blame on his and similar groups, Obama said the militants masquerade as religious leaders but are really terrorists. The president also appealed directly to prominent Muslims to do more to distance themselves from brutal ideologies. He said all have a duty to speak up very clearly in opposition to violence against innocent people. Just as leaders like myself reject the notion that terrorists like Israel genuinely represent Islam, Muslim leaders need to do more to discredit the notion that our nations are determined to suppress Islam, Obama said. I in a high-profile national security address in 2013, Obama declared, We must define our effort not as a boundless global war on terror but rather as a series of persistent, targeted efforts to dismantle specific networks of violent extremists that threaten America. Please subscribe the video.